everyone. My name is Kelsey. So happy to have you here today. We are going to walk some Roman walls today and they are right in front of me. I'm going to turn the camera around in just a second and then we're going to climb up and walk. But uh, just the very briefest bit about me, I am from Chicago and Portland, Oregon, and my husband and I moved to Valencia in Spain in February, and I found a five euro ticket, a five euro plane ticket to A Coruña, which is just down the road from here. We are in Lugo today. Lugo it has one of the most beautiful Roman city walls. It is the only one in the whole world that entirely encapsulates the city and it's still in very good condition. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is quite the sight to behold. Um, Oh, we have so many people. Wonderful. Do let me know where you are tuning in from today in the comments section. I see we have people from Virginia, from North Carolina, from Denver, from Bristol. Oh, awesome. So wonderful. So welcome, everyone. My name is Kelsey. We are walking the Roman walls. What Roman walls, you ask? Hi, Mary Lou. These Roman walls. There we go. Let's uh, let's get a bit of a better look, and then we're going to climb up onto said Roman walls, which is going to be lots of fun. There we go. Isn't this beautiful? So, again, we are in Lugo today. Lugo is in Galicia, which is a uh, the, the part of Spain that is way up north by, uh, it's right above Portugal. So we're on the northwestern part and uh, there are about 100,000 people in this town. So it's not too big but also not too small. Let's uh, cross the street here and then we're going to go up onto the walls, but I just wanted to give you the, uh, the full view of the beautiful Roman walls before we climb up these. Isn't this gorgeous? So this is the only city in the world to be surrounded completely by intact Roman walls. They are anywhere between 33 to 50 feet high, which is 10 to 15 meters. And there are, depending on which source you ask, anywhere between 71 and 84 towers. <laughs> And each tower is this one, this one, this one here, and all of these along here. So this will be one of the last times we will see a view like this. So I would recommend taking a, a, a postcard from right here. These walls are from the third century and they are protected by UNESCO so they get lots of uh, lots of money to keep them intact which is wonderful this gate that we're looking at here this is Porta Nova which is the new the new gate or the new door let me just show you there we go. Porta Nova. So this is one of the uh, one of the most beautiful entrances. It takes you right downtown here, and this is uh, 
one of the streets known as Wine Street. So in case you're wondering what we can do here, these are some of the best wine bars in the city. And uh, this is also one of four entrances to the wall. So let's climb up some stairs. Good thing my apartment in Valencia has 52 stairs up to the very top. So I am prepared for these stairs, but as you can see, there are a lot of them. <laughs> All right, has anyone ever climbed wall, like big Roman-esque walls before? I have, uh, I have also walked around the York walls, which are beautiful, but uh, nothing quite as as complete as this one. So, we are going to walk around about a fourth of this wall. You can see the, uh, the pathway we're gonna take here. Welcome everyone. For those of you who are just joining, we are in Spain today, in the city of Lugo where we will be walking around the old city walls. You can see the, uh, the ground here is just made up of, of pebbles and dust, just like it was when the Romans built this in the second century, the second and third century. So these walls are just over 1700, 1800 years old. They are quite amazing. And we are about 33 feet high, or about 10 meters high to 11 meters high right here. There we go. And then you'll see this as we walk around, but do keep an eye on these, uh, these stones that the Romans built these walls with. They have clearly stood, withstood the test of time, which is just so, so amazing, I think. Okay. And also, this Porta Nova is one of the gates that has been modified. They did have to rebuild part of it. You can tell by how these, uh, some of these rocks are a little bit newer, the stones are a little bit newer. They look a little bit different. Okay. And then you can also see the inside of the, of the wall or of the old city here. There's not much to see on this side quite yet. So we're going to focus on this side. I know, isn't that wall so amazing? I'm so tickled I get to share it with all of you. It's a lot of rocks to build that one. I know. <laughs> Very cool. So we, ha we are now passing some of the anywhere between 71 to 84 towers, depending on who you ask. But um, you can see the, uh, the sort of new town construction. It's much different from what we're going to see very shortly. Um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about that gate that we first started at, Porta Nova. They did find some, uh, some Roman remains, and I'm not sure with the translation if they mean human remains or things like ceramics, but they found them in 1998, and they, uh, they had to sort of stop repairing the wall 
get all of the the archaeologists out here and it did end up taking much longer than was than what was expected and then you might be able to see it in the background here anyone know who this might be in uh in this beautiful mural Any ideas? This is Julius Caesar. Um, this was just painted in 2021, so it is quite new. But uh, it has already been marked as part of the historical section of Lugo. So clearly the uh, the historical society is is quite pleased with this mural I'm gonna do a vertical shot so three two one here is the vertical shot of Julius Caesar we're gonna get a little bit closer too but this I think is one of the best views all right going back Three, two, one. So someone asked what area of Spain is this town in? This is in Galicia. So if you were at the tour yesterday in A Coruña, Lynn, I know you were there, but for those of you who are just joining, um, the A Coruña, Lugo, uh, Vigo, all of these beautiful cities are part of Galicia, which is, uh, it does have a huge food culture, and you all know that I love food. So let me show you one of the sandwiches I found and saved a little bit of to show you. But uh, while I get it out of my pocket, I'll just give you the uh, the Julius Caesar painting to look at. Um, this was made by an artist called Diego and he is from Lugo and it is one of the uh, one of the best murals in the world according to Street Art Cities magazine. Oh I'm sorry that's when it was in the 2021 is when it was named one of the best murals in the world. But um, it, oh, I see. So it was built in, uh, in the year 2000. So while I have it out, this is one of the delicious little sandwich pastries that I have here from one of the bakery shops down the street that's just called Queso and York which is just cheese and ham, right? But it's sort of a, uh, there's sort of little pieces of bacon inside it. And then the cheese is more like ricotta. So it is, uh, it's not like anything I had seen before. So let's try it. Mmm. It is very, it's cold. And the uh, the ricotta is very creamy, and the um, the bacon is it's in little cubes, but it's a little bit harder than than bacon because it's not cooked. It seems to be some type of salami, ham salami, something, maybe um, serrano ham. Mmm, that's quite nice. The um, the pastry is very flaky like all of the amazing pastries you find here. And uh, the total for this giant pastry, I've already eaten nearly all of it, but the total for the the pastry was only a euro 30. So not too shabby. Looks yummy. We went out for lunch today. I ate far too much, feeling rather full. Oh no. Okay. Well, that is, uh, that's the last bit of food we're going to talk about here. So, 
Again, this is Julius Caesar. Um, oh, let's see. Why Caesar? He has been dead over 200 years when the wall was built. That is true. You know, I still need to do a little bit of research on that, but I will talk about that tonight on the other Lugo Old Town tour. So as always, I am an opera singer and a German teacher, so I'm not an official tour guide. I don't know all the things as much as I, as much as I try, <laughs> but um, I, will, I will have a better answer for you tonight, I think, um, Adrian. So we are now coming up to another beautiful city gate. There are, I think there are four that we're going to see today. And then I have a little surprise at the end for us. Will you have to sing for us sometime, please? You know, oh, can I show Julius Caesar again? Yes, Joyce, I can. We're not too far. You know, I was thinking of actually doing some kind of a, a concert at some point because, uh, I think that would be so much, uh, that would be so much better than just a yodel every now and then. And also, like, as a woman traveling by myself, I try not to, to draw too much attention to myself, even though the green glasses and wonky hat doesn't exactly keep the crowds away. But here we go. Here's Julius Caesar one more time. Um, and, oh, let me zoom in a little bit for you. One more thing about this. You can see all of the beautiful details. Um, the city did tell him that he was only allowed to paint this in gray, because in the grayscale, because they didn't want it to outshine the wall. Interesting. I don't think anything could outshine the wall, but what do I know? I'm just a tourist. <laughs> but yeah, so he had to do it in grayscale. He wasn't allowed to do it in color. And uh, yes, it has become one of the, one of the um, things to see here, which has been, which has been really neat. Okay. Here we are heading up to the next of our city gates, which I believe this is Minia Gate. Um, Porta Minia, to be precise. And Minia comes from the river that runs through the the uh, larger area of Lugo. It is a bit a ways away from us, but um, we'll have a pretty nice view of the, uh, the greenery here in a minute, and uh, I'll be able to show you sort of approximately where the river is. But yes, that is what this gate comes from. Let's see. How's our view on this side? Our view is okay. Oh, thank you, Joyce. That's so nice. You know what? I've got a picture of the front of this gate. I think it just makes it a little bit better. We are going to see the front of one of the other gates. There, that picture should have popped up. And, uh, oh, my hand's about to fly off. It's so windy. Um, we will see one at the very end, but I always feel like it'd be so much fun to see them from the front, but actually there is no exit from the wall until the next one we're going to take. So even if I wanted to go all the way downstairs, I wouldn't be able to show it to you <laughs> because I can't get down. Um, oh, and also these beautiful little churches here, um, oh, first, let me just tell you about the gate that we are walking over. 
Can you show that old church? Yeah, actually, I'm going to show you that in more detail in just a second. Let me see if I can get a better view of the city gate. No, I cannot. All right, well, we will have to go with with the picture. But uh, let's talk about the, uh, the beautiful church now, which was, of course, hidden almost entirely by the sun. Thank you, sun. <laughs> but so this is the chapel of Santa Maria, and it is right in front of this gate and right next to the the Santa Maria Hospital, which today is a, uh, a design and craft center. I'm going to show you the uh, the big view of that in just a second. Oh, darn, thank you for your tips. Um, this used to be a um, an part of an old hospital, and it uh, it now serves as a theater, mostly for the the surrounding young people, the surrounding community of young people. But um, speaking of the hospital, that is what this was. So this is what they call the home of Santa Maria. So nice to be on the same level as the church bell. I know. Here, let's, let me show you the church bell one more time and then we'll scooch, scooch along. Isn't that beautiful? Of course, it's like hard to see with the um, with the sun. But, you know, if you take a, a, a postcard of this and then brighten the shadows in your editing feature or editing um, options in your camera, that usually helps. That's what I do when I take a picture and I'm facing away from the sun. Of course, you know, I'm all, I'm all like in the shadows, but usually brightening the, brightening the shadow option on your, on your camera usually helps after you have taken the picture. So this is the home of Santa Maria. It, um, this is located again right next to the wall and it is um it was used as a hospital in the 1930s but also a music conservatory everywhere i go the music just follows me <laughs> um let me give you a better view of this but uh, it was, this building was built originally in 1918. And these things that we're seeing here are some of the beautiful things that I will not be able to show you on the Old Town tour today. Hi, Christy, welcome. So these are, uh, these are different things that we are seeing. I did just wanna show you the, uh, the details on this. Hogar Provincial. Provincial de Santa Maria. So beautiful. And then you can see her statue here also, which I think is really nice. Um, this was built by the architect Luis Beido, who, um, who saw this, this area and said, you know, we need a hospital here. And then it was turned into a conservatory, then a charity center, and now it is actually being restored. So they're just using it as, as office space currently. Very beautiful. Okay, let me show you our next section that we're going to. And uh, if anyone would like to take a guess as to where we will finish this tour. Bum, 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 bum. Sorry for the, the shaky, I'm really zoomed in there. Oh, welcome everyone. For those of you who are just joining, my name is Kelsey. We are in Lugo in Galicia, Spain. So we're right above Portugal. And uh, I'm wearing a coat right now because it was quite cold. 
And then the sun came out and now it is quite hot. So I don't know what to do. I've got sunscreen and a jacket on. <laughs> Here's another beautiful apartment building right next door. Yes, the twin domed church, Lynn, that is where we are headed. We are going to finish in that, in that church because it actually closes before the Old Town tour today. So we're not going to see too much of the, the outside of it, which does have quite a bit to see, but we are going to go inside. So personally, I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, what's inside the wall? Oh, excellent question. So we are just now getting to sort of the pretty part. As you can see, we've been passing um, parking lots and, and homes and construction sites. So not exactly the prettiest section, but you can see where all the houses are there. That is where or all the, uh, the buildings and the older houses are. This is the oldest part of Lugo, this part of town was founded by the Romans in 52, in year 52. So quite old, quite, quite old. Um, these, uh, these Roman walls again are from the second and third centuries. We are anywhere between 10 and 15 meters or 30 to 50 feet high. And there are, depending on which sources you ask, or you, you um, find, there are anywhere between 71 and 84 towers. This gate that we're coming up to here is Porta Minia, which is one of the five original gates. And I will be able to show you just a little bit of straight down. So for those of you with, uh, with vertigo, I will, uh, I will let you know when to perhaps close your eyes because it is a cool view, but it can get a little a little bumpy for those of us with fur to go. Um, I did want to show you. They put a uh, somebody put a map of butterflies here. A little butterfly info information sheet, which I think is cute. <laughs> oh, thank you for your donations. Greatly appreciated. All right. Let's head to see the Porta Minha. This is um, one of the original constructions. So of course they're all original, but some of them are, some of them have not been as restored as the other ones. So this one is, uh, has, has had very little restoration. Um, also, let me see here. I just want to show you a little bit of the surrounding areas here. I know it's a little hard to see with the sun, but then we come up to this church here, which is the exposition hall of Porta Minha. It's a, it's a museum. It used to be an old slaughterhouse, but then it was, um, it was modernized and turned into a, uh, a, a museum of the city of Lugo, which is fun. All right, let's see these, uh, this gate, and then we're going to go over to the church. What country, please? We are in Spain today. Okay, for those of you with vertigo, you actually know what? I'm going to switch around to the other side. But, uh, okay, for those of you with vertigo, this would be a time to look away. <laughs> Here is straight down. And, of course, these are all very well protected, so I am not in any danger. 
but um, it is quite the uh, quite the distance. And let me just show you from the other side too. You can see all of the stones that were used and how they're so thin but very flat, which I think is interesting. Okay, for those vertigo folks, we are safe again. <laughs> how high is the wall? Good question, Tina. So it is anywhere between 33 feet and 50 feet or 10 to 15 meters. So quite high. Um, not not uh, uncomfortably high, but still high enough to where you don't want to accidentally fall. Um, and here are some, this is one of the main uh, pretty parts of the wall that doesn't have any uh, towers by it. But check out the trees though. The trees, they have pruned them. So they are, uh, they have a little hole in the middle. Isn't that interesting? They don't grow like this. They uh, they were chopping some of these trees earlier and they just look like little rings, massive Cheerios. <laughs> On your other tour today, are you exploring inside the wall? Yes, we're going to see all of the cool things. Now, I'm so glad that I got to do this tour today because um, I wouldn't have had time to come up here and I think this is such a cool, has such a cool view. It also gives you a little bit better of an idea as to where the people actually live here. Because of course, in the old town, it's amazing, but you know, locals don't normally live there. So we have one more gate and then we will, uh, we will be on our way. The, uh, the gate that we just passed by again is the Minya Gate, which is also known as Carme. And it is, it's right next to the beautiful Carme Chapel, to the, the church that we saw that had the little bell tower on top of it. And um, this gate was, uh, it was repaired in 1854, but still one of the original gates from the second and third centuries. So cool. And you can see a little bit more of the, uh, the sort of fancy apartments but we are getting to a prettier part of Old Town. So let me just show you a little bit of what I'm seeing on this side, and then we're gonna go to the church. But uh, you can see the, the stones are not only used for the wall. We are on the wall, but actually this, uh, this drop is not, oh, you can see me, hello. <laughs> this drop is maybe eight or nine feet. It's not very far at all. And uh, you're seeing a lot of a lot of uh, graffiti. That is mainly because this town has a lot of young people. There's actually a whole group of kids in front of us. <laughs> but this is sort of where they they hang out to get away from mom and dad. They go, I'm gonna go on the wall, goodbye, when they're having their teenage angst, right? So that is why there's so much, um, so much graffiti on here. But, okay, let's now get to our very last section. Young people ruin everything. Christy, that's hilarious. <laughs> um, Yes, so this Santiago gate, which is the very last one we're going to see, this dates back to the Rome, the original Roman construction, and uh, 
since the seventh century, it has been known, or as the twelfth century, excuse me, it has been known as the Porticu, or the Postigo Gateway of Porticu. Interesting. Um, this doorway is actually a little bit bigger than the others. Let me just give you a little bit of a a view of the gate. Isn't that beautiful? Is this one of the stops on the Santiago route? Yes, it is. And funny you ask that, Tina, because we are now right in front of the beautiful cathedral. Yes, and this lovely Oh my goodness. So this is the Lugo Cathedral. It is a Roman Catholic church and basilica. And this was first erected in the 12th century. So construction started on it in year 1129. Let me show you all the way up. It has these two beautiful bell towers, which are quite lovely. And then let me give you the vertical view. Three, two, one. Here we go. I don't know if I'll be able to get both towers in one picture. Now we can kind of, kind of. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. There we go. And Christy says, can we go inside? Yes, I have not gone inside yet. I bought my ticket specifically so that I could take all of you inside with me. So let's go. <laughs> Um, and again, for the other tour tonight, this will be closed. This will be the only chance we get to go inside. But uh, then again, we will get to see a lot more of the outside and all of the other cool places in this little tiny town, which if any of you came with me to, um, to Medina in Malta, with all of the beautiful old doors. It was very quiet. Um, it, it, that, Medina is known as the silent city, so of course it was very quiet, but um, I have, I, it just, it feels kind of like that here as well. So I would be interested to know what you all think of that this evening. Oh, hi! Oh, oh. <laughs> That, uh, that is the ferocious little creature that was barking at me. <laughs> Adorable. All right. So I already have my ticket. This is what it looks like. Cathedral de Lugo, or the Lugo Cathedral. Oh, and I want the... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not allowed to touch this. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble now. I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even notice. Okay, I would like to go in there now. Okay. Just in the Do you want the audio guy? Uh, yes, please. Uh, English, please, yes. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely silent in here. Wow. Oh, there are. 
gaman ya punya ini And it, my reception looks okay, so we're going to be able to go a little bit further, but I just wanted to, to show you. Yeah, this is a, this is a postcard worthy event right here. Okay, let's keep scooching along. So again, this was uh, first built or uh, started to be built in a year. 11.29 and I'm not zooming, no. Behind you, oh, let me show you. Oh, postcard of the thing behind me, yes. Yes, Christy, I will turn around. Okay, I will walk up to that, but let me just give you a better view of this. Um, I'm not quite sure how to see. Oh, maybe if I hold it up. Oops, 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 oops. This way. There we go. Oh my goodness. Look at the, uh, the detail on this also. That's amazing. Yeah, this does look like the Last Supper. Good call, Christine. Wow. Okay, and no, I'm not zooming. I, it is just, uh, it is hard to get all the way back sometimes. But uh, we, will, we will try our best. Let me show you the, the ceiling while I have a good view of it, and then we're gonna go and see the famous part. Why, yes, this isn't the famous part yet. Okay, we're gonna go vertical, three, two, one. Here is the ceiling. These look like limestones, not too, uh, not too decorative, but this was built over a period of about a hundred years, so lots of different things to different styles that they have they have used. All right, going back three, two, one. Let me get a little bit closer here, and then we'll go over to the. Uh, the amazing frescoes, which if you got a little glimpse of those, I am so looking forward to that. Oh, thank you for the follows. I'm so excited to have more followers. I, uh, I have not posted my tours for Sancterre, Florence, Luca, Pisa, the Leaning Tower of Pisa that I will be doing in about two weeks. But uh, if you follow me, then you will be able to see those as they come out. I'm really looking forward to this. And um, here we go. And then I am, so a little bit of background, I am on a, a trip up to Northern Spain. Oh, okay the sidebar and look in here and then I'll keep going with my story. I do realize the reception is not so good sometimes but uh you guys just let me know if you ever can't see or hear clearly. Look at that that ceiling. Oh my goodness. Oh this is quite echoing. And then let me show you what's in here. Oh, wow. This is crazy. We get, we get you inside the bars. If I can't see, at least you can. Look at those faces. Wow. And the 
the skulls. Oh my goodness. The um, This church, a, a church that was here started in year 755, but then the Bishop Peter III put a bunch of money into this and that is when it was finally um the the size was increased the detail was increased the money was increased and it finally finished in the year 1273 um yes so tomorrow to santiago de compostela to see the uh the camino de santiago the the route oh i do see my reception going uh okay i think we're getting slightly better uh yes sam so this is the lugo cathedral oh my gosh that's amazing okay i'm not allowed to go through that door but how am I supposed to see that if I can't get over there? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm, I've got, oh, oh, oh. Got you in here, but I want to see full, I want a full frontal. But how do we do that? Um, and it won't let us go in the middle. Oh, this is very pretty though. Oh, here, I see it. Stained glass postcard. It does look like a postcard, doesn't it? Look at this. Wow. That's not my phone, by the way. beautiful oh my goodness this is stunning i guess i can zoom in good idea oh wow ceiling too i got you let me just all the way down and then we'll go back up. Jeez, this is amazing. Um, the later renovations, which I imagine are probably these, were destroyed in the 1755 Lisbon earthquake. And we are not that far from Lisbon at all. So it is a uh, it is quite probable that quite a bit of damage was done here in that Lisbon earthquake. Let's see how much we can see. I'm gonna I'm gonna scooch around the other side and hopefully we can have a little bit better of a view. And also. Let me show you the choir here that, of course, it has all these things blocked off, which is so very unhelpful. But I do understand because they're old. But look at this. Those are so amazing. So this choir area was built by Francisco de Muare in the early 17th century. That is so cool. Oh, thank you for your donation, Christy. Greatly appreciate it. Aren't these so amazing? Okay, let's go around so we can get a better close-up of this. Uh, 
Um, let me do a vertical shot right here. Kind of put my head down. Okay. I wouldn't mind taking a postcard of this and putting it on Facebook for me. I already have my camera back in my backpack. <laughs> but this is so amazing. Okay, going back. Three, two, one. Alright. Head around here too. Um, yeah, so tomorrow we're headed to Santiago Postela, where we will talk about the Camino de Santiago, which Lugo is on the Camino de Santiago, which we will talk about tonight, because this town is just filled with different, um, different references. Wow! Okay, I have to show you this in vertical three two, one. Yes, you know, I will move a little bit slower. I apologize. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay, going back. Three, two, one. And now let me show you the top part of this. And this is open, so I'm thinking I can go in here. And I haven't been yelled at yet, so thumbs up for that. That is amazing. Um, yes, and then on Sunday, I am headed to another little Roman town called Ponte Bedra. And Monday, I am doing a tour just inside the Cathedral of Santiago. Someone asked, pure gold, you know, it's, I would say yes, but this is not roped off at all. So, I, mm, I don't know. None of my research has said either way but I imagine there must be at least some gold in this. This is amazing. Let me zoom in on this for you. Look at the little, the little angels. Wow. With all the little dust on them, it doesn't make them look so alive which is a little creepy. I don't know if we can see that on the video very well, but <laughs> in person it does look a little, a little interesting. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Let's keep moving and I will go a little bit slower so that you guys can take screenshots. Um, Arches. Wow. And then there's a big, beautiful uh, tableau right in the middle that we're going to see, which uh, was was Philip the Third's idea when he put money into this church. He said, I want a beautiful painting. And uh, the artists gave him that. Let me show you the... Um, Quite nice. Welcome 
Welcome everyone, for those of you who are just joining, we are in Lugo in northern Spain. And we are at the Cathedral of Lugo, which was built in year 1129. Quite, quite old. Oh, here's where we can see the painting. Oh my goodness. Oh, I hope you're all ready with your screenshots because, wow. Oh my goodness, look at that. Of course, there's a big glass thing in between us. So it makes it slightly more difficult. So this was painted in the, I believe the 1700s after it, um, after it was damaged in the earthquake as they were rebuilding it. That's or the 17th century. Oh, so that would have been before the earthquake then. Huh. All right. Well, I guess it, uh, it did not take too, or did not have too much damage on it. That's great. And I'm not be sure, yeah. Some of these windows. Wow. You can see all of the, the beautiful mosaics in there too. With Saint Frailunus. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. But that is what it says. That's beautiful. Okay. And let's keep scooching around here. get another view of this. Oh, look at all the silver. That is just, that's beautiful. Okay. Now let's make our way back up to the front here. So, Yes, let me tilt it down, I'm sorry. That is what it looks like on the, on the bottom here. Look at that rug. Oh, that's quite nice. Oh, how beautiful. There's another one of these beautiful altars. Let's do a vertical view. Three, two, the detail on this because I can walk right up to it. Oh, that's amazing. There's a lot of dirt on this, but I wish I could see it when it was first built. And also, let me show you the door.
Oh, I'm so glad, Christy. I'm glad you like the postcard shop here. There is a lot to see here. Oh my goodness. Even if we just look straight up. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's go back to the front. See a little bit more. Then I will bid you all farewell. another postcard shot of the, the stone. So, all right. Thank you all so much for coming today. It was to have all of you join on this last minute tour for the, the old town of Lugo, starting in about an hour and a half. So do tune in then if you are able. I would love to see you there. And then tomorrow I have the tours. Oh, actually I have two tours tomorrow. For those of you who are in the States, it might be quite early for you. It's at 745 local time. <laughs> but um oh Ronnie Lynn, I'm sorry you missed it too, but that's okay. People have got lots of uh, Lots of postcards, I'm sure we'll see some pictures. And um, oh, thank you for your tips, greatly appreciated. Um, yes, so tomorrow we are headed to the only Roman lighthouse that is still in operation in A Coruña. So that is where I am staying for these past two days. And um, I'm staying with this really nice little old lady in an Airbnb and her daughter who was probably my age and then her son also oh thank you for your donations greatly appreciated um it's yeah it's it's been a, a really nice day i did have to get up this morning at 6 15 to make the one bus to lugo one <laughs> oh for those of you who like my nails i did them again before i came <laughs> so I always I always like showing you guys my nails. I keep telling my husband, oh I've gotta bring cool earrings and have cool nails when I give tours and he's like, Oh yes you do. <laughs> um so anyway, that is where I'm staying and um yes, we're going to see the lighthouse tomorrow morning, my time. So all of the folks in the States it might be just a little too early. But I will post some some pictures on the, the Facebook group for you. And um, if anyone wouldn't mind posting my, the link to my profile, that would be wonderful. I'm not sure if it pops up or not. But um, oh, thank you for your follows. Yes, I am also headed on a six day tour of Italy in about in about two weeks. So we're going to see Florence, Pisa, Genoa, Luca, uh, th three or four different cities of the Sancterre. Thank you, Sam. And um, it's going to be really beautiful. I'm very excited. I have been there before, so I do know a little bit of what to expect. So I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to bringing you all with me there. There will be probably quite a few last minute tours there because sometimes I'm not sure if I can get into a church or not with a camera. So when you get up in the morning, do check if a, a last minute tour has appeared every now and then. But I'll tell you the, uh, the tour before that if that is a possibility. Um, yes, so tune in tomorrow for the two tours, one in A Coruña with the, the Roman lighthouse and then one in Santiago de Campostela at more of a normal hour. And then Sunday at Pontevedra, Monday at the Cathedral of Santiago, which is where all of the Camino de Santiago folks are going. That is the headquarters. And on um, Tuesday, I have a 12-hour layover in Malaga. So I figured, well, 
I'll just do a tour there as well because I've been there also and it's beautiful. So do tune in at um, 1 15 Eastern Standard Time today or 7 15 local time, which is where we are going to leave the church and see all of the things that are inside the wall, which is really beautiful. So thank you all so much for your tips, for your follows. I look forward to seeing you soon. If you like the tour, please leave a review. Every now and then you see people who go, uh, that's too much old stuff. So all of your the things that you liked about the tour would be excellent. If you hated the tour, my name is Paula. So if you liked it, my name is Kelsey. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you all so much for coming. I will see you next time. Thank you for another great tour, Kelsey. See you next time. Thank you, Mary Lou. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you, Ronnie. See you next time.